Seven. Healthy food by mother. Warm up. What are your favorite dishes that your mother cooks? Name any two. Dosa. Idli with sambar. Ukma. Rice and dal. Bitter god fried, etc. are my favorite dishes that my mother cooks. Name one dish of your choice that you would like to eat in a restaurant. I would like to eat chapati and curry, fried rice or biryani with manchuria in a restaurant. Read and enjoy. I love to eat what my mother cooks, said Abhi as he was having lunch during the lunch break. The poha today is simply delicious. What have you got, Tara? asked Abhi. I have brought lemonade and aloo paratha, replied Tara. Why don't you try some paratha? She offered her food to her friends and they all enjoyed it. Who has brought chips today? asked Abhi. Three children have brought junk food like chips, biscuits and noodles. How does your mother find time to cook? My mother is always very busy, so she gives me chips, said one of the children. Your poha has vegetables like carrots, beans and peas. I always love your food, but I love noodles said another child and I also love to eat biscuits but our teacher told us that junk food makes us fat. When will you stop eating such things? They are not healthy. The children had soon finished eating. They drank water and raced with one another for some time. Soon the bell rang and it was time for their EVS class. Teacher said, Children, which food is healthy? Fruits and vegetables or samosa sold on the street? Fruits and vegetables, answered the class. Why? asked the teacher. They are healthy because of their nutrients, answered Abhi. Very good, said the teacher, smiling at him. But we must wash them well before eating. Why is samosa not healthy? asked Tara. It is fried in oil. It is oily. Eating too many samosa is not good, replied the teacher. But if it is made at home, you can safely eat a few, of course. Street food can make you sick. Food cooked at home is always healthy and safe. Healthy, physically well, race, run fast, nutrients, good for health, pride, cooked in oil, street food, eatable sold on street, safe, which does not involve any risk. Read and understand. A. Take the correct answer. B. Answer the following question. How many children had brought junk food? Three children had brought junk food. What type of food are chips? Biscuits and noodles. Chips, biscuits and noodles are junk food. They are not healthy. Why is eating fruits and vegetables healthy? Eating fruits and vegetables is healthy because they contain nutrients. What can happen if you eat street food if I eat street food, it can make me sick. Fun with grammar. 
Interrogative sentences WH question Interrogative sentences are used to ask questions. An interrogative sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a question mark. Who? When? What? Why? Where? Which? And who? are question words. We use them in the beginning of interrogative sentences to ask questions. Examples 1. Who is that boy? 2. When is the party? 3. What is kept on the dining table? 4. Why are you late today? 5. Where is your book? 6. Which is your book? A. Now match the questions in column A with the answers in column B. B. Fill in the blanks with the correct question words from the bracket. Let's spell. A. Supply the missing letters to complete the word. Use the words given in the box. Let's read. Read the following passage. Sarala was teaching her nine-year-old daughter Priya to make fresh fruit cream to be served after dinner on Sunday evening. She said, Priya, it is very easy to make a sweet dish. Priya looked at her mother and said, Mother, once I learn to make it, I will prepare it every Sunday evening. Sarala said, Sure dear, first take an apple and a banana. Take a small bunch of grapes. Wash the apple and grapes well. Then peel the apple and banana. Just watch how I cut them into small cubes. Throw away the part of the apple with seeds. Cut each grape into small halves. Mix all the fruit pieces in a big bowl. Take a small pack of fresh cream and pour it on the chopped fruit pieces. Mix it slowly with the spoon and now it is ready to be served. You can keep it in the fridge for some time so that it becomes chill. Priya smiled and said, Now, I know how to make fresh fruit cream. Thanks for teaching me this, Mama. Now answer these questions. Who was learning to make fresh fruit cream? Priya was learning to make fresh fruit cream. Which fruit were used to make the dish? An apple, a banana and small bunch of grapes were used to make the dish. Which fruits were peeled before they were chopped? The apple and banana were peeled before they were chopped. What was added to the fruit pieces in the bowl? A small pack of fresh cream was added to the fruit pieces in the bowl. How did Sarala mix the cream and fruit pieces in the bowl? Sarala mixed the cream and fruit pieces.
fruit pieces with spoon. Let's practice. Follow your teacher while he or she is saying and pronounce the words correctly. One, hunt. Two, run. Three, butt. Four, bun. Five, sun. Six, sum. Seven, dog. One, bat. Two, sat. Three, sun. Four, damn. Five, cat. Six, bag. Seven, rag. Let's converse. Read the following conversation and enact it out with your partner in the class. Uma, Johnny, who is your best friend? Of course, you are my best friend. Why do you then play with Amar during the lunch break? Well, he is very good batsman. I like him. Okay, sorry. I never knew that earlier. Rhyme time. Recite the following poem in groups. Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Pepper picked. If Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where is the peck of pickled peppers? That Peter Pepper picked. Based on your reading of the rhyme given above, answer the following questions orally. Who picked a peck of pickled peppers? Peter Pepper pickled a peck of pickled peppers. Give two words that sound the same as peck on your own. A. Check. B. Neck. Writing skills. Frame questions for the following answers by using WH words given in the box and adding your own. Remember to begin each question with a capital letter and end with a question mark. Good food habits. Project work. Collect pictures of any two types of junk food and two types of healthy food from newspapers or magazines. Paste them in your scrapbook or notebook and give the caption Eat healthy food, stay fit. Value Corner Life Skills Respect and love your body Eat healthy food and stay fit